welcome back to another video part of 12 days of Meg today I am counting down 12 days of Christmas films because these are my top 12 Christmas films that I would like to recommend to you in 12th place 12 is like not my least favorite because there's lots of Christmas films not in the list obviously but 12 first the first day is gonna the first number one will be the best 12 we're counting down my favorites so number 12 I've got The Grinch I think it's a really good Christmas film I haven't seen it in a while but I love it still and I'll probably watch it this year I didn't watch it last year but I will and I think it's really good it's a nice film in 11th place we've got Santa Claus 2 it used to be up there as one of my really good favorites but there's just more films that have come into place that have replaced it so it's a good film though I like it in 10th place we have Christmas with the Cranks I really like this film I think it's really Christmassy I like the atmosphere it's a good film I like it in 9th place we have Home Alone 2 Lost in New York I love this see the thing is with these 12 even though it's ninth place it's still really good like it's a really close 12 um, I love Home Alone 2 Lost in New York it's got a really good Christmassy atmosphere and I just love that about Christmas films as long as they've got a Christmassy atmosphere I love it in seventh place we have Love Actually I didn't actually see this film for the first time for quite like I was quite late onto the trend I think I saw it for the first time two three years ago or I think I did see it when I was really little but didn't really like process it but properly I saw it a couple of years ago and I think it's really lovely and I love you'll notice in the list I love British Christmas films just because I feel like no offense to the Americans but the British ones I can relate to more and they're cozy and they're like oh I'm like that's my life in sixth place is Elf. I absolutely love the film. It's great. And my favourite scene is when he um, has the spaghetti with all the sweets in it. I would love to try that. In fifth place is The Nativity, the one with like Mr. Poppy and that. I love that. And I love, it's just such a great film. And tying with that in fourth place, Nativity 2 Danger in the Manger, I also love. I've noticed lots of people don't like Nativity 2, but I absolutely love it because at the end when they're in the castle, it's just so Christmassy and so cosy. Um, and I won't give any spoilers, but it's a really good film. In third place, this one is probably not as well known. It's like a Sony movie channel movie. It's called Grandpa for Christmas and it's such a lovely film. It's like really nice. It's American and it's it's really low budget but it's still it's like I don't know it just gives me the feels you know it's a really nice film I discovered it about four years ago and it's a good one it's up there in second place we have Miracle on 34th Street and honestly I love this film it's so nice the one with Richard Attenborough oh honestly the film I think it was the first film to make me cry I love it and it's so good and it's so Christmassy and it's just great. And in first place, not necessarily meaning it's better than any of the others, even though it's first place, so. but not by a lot. It's just my Christmas Eve film and my go-to Christmas Eve film for like my life since it came out. The Polar Express. I love it. I literally, one time, my friend, um, she hurt her foot or something, so I was trying to distract her. So I literally went through the whole of the Polar Express scene by scene. I know it off by heart, not like the individual words, although I know most of them as well, but I know every little bit that happens off by heart. I am absolutely obsessed with that film. So that is the end of the video. Those are my 12 days of Christmas films. So if you start watching these on the 24th Takeaway 12, this is A-level maths. On the 12th, I feel like that was kind of obvious, but anyway, if you start watching these on the 12th of December, you can watch one every day until Christmas. I might actually do that. That's a really good idea that I came up with myself. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what videos you want to see or what your favourite Christmas film is. And don't forget to subscribe.